let's take a quick look at how saving effect presets could really save us time editing in Media Composer. So we're going to focus on these clips I have all right here. And you can see I already have those edited and placed exactly where I want. Now what I wanna do is crop the image down so I just have the Sample Tank 3 interface showing. I don't wanna show Pro Tools in the background. And then I'm going to add some animation, some ease in, ease out, some perspective, rotation, you know, that sort of thing to make the video interesting so it's not just a bunch of clips and a static shot. So in order to do this, I'm going to use an effect called 3D Warp, which is right here in the blend category. So I'll just drop this on my clip, hop into effects mode, and first I have to do the grunt work, which is cropping. So I'll go ahead and crop it down. I'll use my arrow keys on the keyboard to get it exactly right. So I'll go ahead and crop the rest of this. All right, so that looks pretty good. We'll quickly hop in here to full screen. Yeah, it looks perfect. So we'll hop back out. And now I can hop back into effects mode and I can start doing things like my scaling animations that I want to do. So say I want to sort of ease in with this clip. So I'll start it out, say about 119 on the scaling and I'll go ahead and add a keyframes here. Then I'll come down to the end. I'll go ahead and add some keyframes and then I'll scale this up. All right, about 130. So there we go. Now we have our animation done. And now we can move on to our next clip and come back to blend, pop on our 3D warp, go back in and crop again and so on, and then do different animation because I want the animation to be different. But if we stop just for a second and take a look here, let me go ahead and remove that effect. So if we stop for just a second and look, we'll notice that, you know, that interface doesn't actually change position on our screen here. It's staying exactly in the same spot. Okay, but we do want different animation for each and every clip. However, we can go ahead and save an effect preset for just the cropping since our Sample Tank 3 interface is in exactly the same spot in every clip. We'll go ahead and remove this effect. I'll come back to Blend, go down here to 3D Warp, drop that on our clip, hop in here to Effects Mode, and I'll go ahead and crop this off. And there we go, the crop is done. I'll hop into full screen, make sure, yep, looks great. So now what we can do is actually save this effect, just the crop, and that way we can just drop it across our timeline and then that grunt work will be done for us. And then we can go in and edit, you know, in a more creative frame of mind with our ease in and out and our perspective and rotation and whatnot. So in order to save this effect here, we'll simply grab 3D Warp. I'll drop it right in my bin and that's it, we're done. So now I can apply that 3D Warp across all of these clips. I'll just select all of them by using the lasso and then watch this, I can double click on this and boom, look at that. My effect has been applied across all of these clips. They're perfectly cropped and now I can simply hop into effects mode, do my scaling animation, put in my keyframes on each of these clips real easily and real quick without having to worry about having to stop and crop everything down first and then get into things like scaling and rotation perspective. I can go ahead and stay in a creative frame of mind. So just remember that tip. If you happen to have several clips and there's some commonalities between the clips, you can always program the effect for those commonalities save that effect and then hop back into the effect to change certain parameters for each clip. So there you go, saving effect presets to speed up your workflow in Media Composer 8.